Yo, what's good guys? Son of Fire here, back in the video, and today I'm going to be going over a full weekend league game, and I'm going to be talking about my adjustments throughout this game. Now, this is a post-commentary, but I'm just going to be saying everything that happens and what I'm thinking. So, first play, you guys see my opponent's going to go upstairs to Moss. It wasn't 55 yards, so he's going to drop it, and this, my opponent was actually running a couple of weird abilities. The first thing is that he didn't have a QB ability, so you guys see, he actually catch, caught me off guard with the pass twice in a row. Here he's going to run the ball with his golden ticket bow. And one thing that I have to do is make a tackle because I can never give up seven on my first drive. That's the thing I pride myself by just because I always start off slow in these types of games. So you guys see he's going to run the ball twice. Third down, he's going to be in this wing flex close. He's going to try and find anything open. He doesn't have a skate artist. Straight hand's going to come through with that sack and he's going to have to take three. Now, like I said, I always start off super slow on offense, so I really just can't ever afford to give people a free seven points on their drive. I, it just puts me in a hole immediately. So first play, I notice he doesn't have that QB spy. So what I'm going to do is simply just take off with Lamar right there. Again here, I'm just going to throw this little low ball to hold. We do get the worst animation there, unfortunately. That's going to take us to our third and six, and this is where I make my first mistake. Um, I just forget I just blocked I sent out five routes against his 146 we didn't get the blocking here I had X open super late but by the time he got open you know we get, did get sacked here um, crucial interception by me the adjustment I made there was I just put my corners in soft squats the first play they were in man coverage he burnt me now that they're in soft squats that those aren't gonna be open so back on offense and here's where I'm gonna you know end up making my adjustment and you guys see we're gonna pick up a little first down there but here I'm just gonna audible down you know you gotta keep things simple don't overthink it especially against these 146 kids I can't come out and doubles flex because he might run rundy so I'm just gonna come out and gun bunch and then I'm gonna audible down it's gonna catch him off guard and you know obviously if I wanted to pass he's not gonna have a spy but you guys see these kids they don't have rundy out of 146 you need a really good user and most of these people they just can't use her so i did have an unfortunate stop and go there that would have you know that did prevent it we're just going to throw this hitch though on second down takes us to third down to look at the pocket here by lamar jackson look at my pocket i see him use a rush i'm going to step to the left and then i'm going to press left trigger go into ball carrier mode and take that for six make sure you guys go check out my pocket presence video if you haven't but there you guys see again chase young coming through Second down, he does catch me off guard. I was, I just didn't get my adjustments off in time, and he threw that little nice pass to Okoye. Again, he's going to try and run the ball. Uh, that time, Keith Bullock was all over it. And look at just Keith Bullock once again here. He's going to get another block shed on it. I mean, granted, it is Randy Moss, but still, that card is super underrated in the run and the pass. I really love that Keith Bullock here. Third and 11, 18 seconds left, nothing much he can do. He's just going to chuck it up, basically an arm punt right there. And like I said, when I come out in doubles flex, I know he's not spying, so I'm just going to pick up a couple of yards. Thankfully, we, we do recover that fumble right there. And here we are. I need to really complete this pass. CeeDee Lamb, unfortunately, doesn't drop it. I only have cross specialist on Irvin, so I should have subbed him out right there. That was my fault, but five seconds left. Nothing much I can do. I'm just going to take off with Lamar there, pick up what I can, and just get down on the ground. So here we are. I'm in a good spot. I'm up four. I get the ball. I know as long as I get a score here, I'm in a good spot. So here you guys see this time I'm running wide receiver post. I got Irvin on the crosser. He's never going to drop it. Like I said, cross specialist again, second and eight. I'm going to step into the pocket. Like I said, he's spying that D tackle every play so I can easily step through to the pocket, showcase my presence a little bit and just wait for someone to come back to the ball. You guys see that time it's Torrey Holt. But when he's only rushing 2D linemen in a cornerback, I'm going to have all day to throw. Again, I'm able to get that corner blocked by my running back, take off with Jackson there. And second and two, I knew he was in man coverage because of the play before. And we're just going to run verticals. Michael Irvin, I have route technician on him. Super good ability, super underrated ability. But he's going to get those faster cuts when he's running wheel routes and corner routes and whatever. But yeah, we're going to end up getting that punching that in for a touchdown here my opponent's in a bad spot he can't run the ball my run he's been super good he has to throw and that's where these runners make their mistakes in passing the ball they can't throw they'll try and just force things and taylor mays was all over that in route with waller here i know i just need a score to put the game away pretty much it can even be a field goal but again i notice he's not putting up a spot and 
you guys see, I'm making him put up a spy every single down because the, the one play he forgets to, I'm taking off with Jackson every time. So again, third and inches, I'm going to keep things simple. Theme of the video, keep things simple. I'm not going to pass when I don't have to. I'm just going to audible down. It's an inch. I can just run the ball. So again, what does he forget to do? He forgets to put up a QB spy. I'm going to run every single time. And I'm literally forcing him to put up a QB spy. Here he's going to send pressure. No QB spy. What am I going to do? I'm not going to, you know, sit in the pocket and throw. I'm just going to scramble out with my golden ticket QB and run that rock with Lamar. So a lot of people know they have their pride. I'm not going to run the ball. I'm off meta. It's just, you're really just hurting yourself. I love to throw the ball. If I could, I would throw the ball 30 times a game. But when I'm facing 146, it's just dumb of me not to. So you guys see my opponent. He's going to put together a little bit of drive. Third and 13. We can get off the field, but fortunately Moss ags us with his post flag elite. Again, my opponent's getting a little risky. That's not the move. He doesn't have the X under his name. He's not going to catch it that time. Third and 10. Again, we're forcing him to throw the ball. This one was a little bit weird because I had a hook curl on that right side with Shazier. For whatever reason, he actually matched onto the post, but... Fourth and one, I have a god-awful user right there. That's 100% my fault. First and goal, but this is the thing. If you give the runners, make the runners put the ball in the air enough times, we're going to get that interception with Taylor Mays. And that is pretty much going to throw, you know, put the game away. 21-3, to three, he has two timeouts. We're just going to laser him a couple of times. He's going to burn his timeouts. And this is pretty much the last play of the game. For good measure, we're just going to throw it up and ag him one time. He, we have the X under his name. We got to get him back for that time. Randy Moss agged us. But that's going to do it for the video. If you want more weekend league gameplay like this, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. Comment down below if you enjoyed this one and you want more videos like this. And that's going to do it for me. Peace. I'm out of here.